All right, so I kind of can't wait to make this so I can make the next one. Um, I uh, been watching Alan Bishop and Jesse from Still It, trying to figure out how to make absinthe, and and I I, I got enough information to where I could put my own spin on it. I think I'm going to. Uh, I found a recipe on the Wikipedia page. Uh, I'm gonna do that. It says it's from a doctor from the, I think the 1800s or something like that, and some some book of recipes from way back when. So I got four gallons of 20 proof liquor in here. Proofed it down, you guys seen that. Now I'm going to add, I guess they call it maceration, when you add all your botanicals to this. So I'm gonna add botanicals to this, and I'll show you what they are. Some of these botanicals are super hard to find. Um, in doing this, I found all the botanicals you would ever need to make absinthe or gin, and I listed them on the website. So I now have a, uh, a bulk amount of all these botanicals, and uh, some of them you just can't find, so I found them. They're on uh, philbillymoonshine.com under the botanicals button. So if you need them, there they are. You can't find them. I have them. Uh, so uh, let's do this. Check this out. I'm going to start out by putting four, four pounds of wormwood into my bucket. It looks like cow shit. There's way too much wormwood but that's what the recipe calls for four pounds of wormwood looks like a bucket full of cow shit but uh i'm gonna strain it when it's time but i'm gonna add my other botanicals i'll show you what they are one ounce of calamus root one ounce of anise seeds one ounce of dittany of crete this is called Dittany of Crete. This is the hardest thing to find out of everything. But I, I have some on my website if you can't find it. It is expensive. Uh, and, you know, with a lot of these botanicals, you'll read things like they say that this will help you do astral projection. Um, if you believe in that sort of thing. But uh, it's part of this recipe. And, uh, it doesn't smell bad. I guess a lot of people use it to make tea. But let's, let's do it. One ounce of angelica root. Alright, so there's a lot of cow poop in there. <laughs> there's like, it says to let this macerate for eight days, Right? And then to add some water. And I guess, I mean, there wasn't really any details. It's just a little article, a little recipe on a Wikipedia page. And I guess that they was probably just going to... Oh. Ugh. Yuck. So I'm going to have more... Oh, man, I got to wash my mouth out. That's fucking nasty. So, uh, that's the grossest thing I ever tasted. Hopefully them, uh, anise seeds start working because at this point, black licorice, bleh, fuck, that's terrible. So I'm going to add more alcohol. Another gallon. Another gallon of 20 proof. So that makes five gallons. But I, I think I read this recipe wrong. I, I don't know. I think it's way too much wormwood. 
and, and that some of the botanicals are expensive so i hope this ain't wasted i'm running this through a still i'm gonna strain it but cow doo doo bro i think that's way too much wormwood way too much i think we would have been good with a half a pound but you know we want to make that magical fairy fairy juice so shit that'd probably be enough to do a 20 gallon batch four pounds i don't know maybe i'm wrong i have no idea i should probably uh Try and get a hold of Alan Bishop or Jesse, but let's let's do this recipe, the Wikipedia recipe from 1800s, from the 1800s cookbook. I don't know. I'm probably definitely doing this wrong. I, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe not. I mean, it said four pounds, it said four gallons, and it said an ounce of everything else. I just know that this tastes right now horrible. <laughs> I just dipped my finger in that and my mouth hates my guts right now. All right, so it's been like like 10 days now. It's even got some mold growing on top. It's, I think this is uh, way too much. Way too much wormwood. I'm going to clean it up now. I'm going to pour it in that bucket. I got a... Uh, filter on there i'm gonna clean all the big stuff out of it we'll see all right so when i first did that and i put like four pounds of wormwood in there i dipped my finger in there and i tasted it man <laughs> one of the worst things i ever tasted it's like trying to lick both terminals on a car battery at the same time i mean it was really and it lasts all day like you can't get that flavor out of your mouth so I suggest you try that if you're going to do this. Um, I, I I cleared it up. I got all the stuff out of it. Uh, didn't clear it up. I got all it. I got all the grains out of the liquid, and I lost about a gallon. So there's three gallons left. I got a three gallon stove top still. Here, I'll let you see it. That's what it looks like. It smells a little black licorice. -y. It smells real medicinal. You know, I couldn't imagine ever drinking that the way it is now or in, in any concentrate. Uh, but especially the way it is, like if you didn't water that down, I definitely couldn't ever see putting that on my tongue again. Um, but we're going to redistill it and see if, you know, maybe that mellows it out some, <laughs> but but trying this wine or whatever this concoction is that we have, it's pretty horrible. But let's let's distill it. I'm gonna put my still together and run it off. This is the most medicinal smelling thing I've ever smelled in my life. It's wild. It's like sniffing a dirty band-aid. <laughs> let's see how it tastes. So it's probably gonna be good. cool thing about running on a small still like this is you can let it start to boil before you hook it all together. I mean, I got all this hooked up. The kitchen's kind of a mess, y'all, but whatever. And, uh, but, you know, just in case there's something in there that might scorch, you know, I give it a good stir every once in a while. And there's been some foam on top that I scoop off with this. Uh, one thing for sure, my whole kitchen smells like a damn Band-Aid. <laughs> but we're going to see. Hopefully this turns out good. You know, I mean, if you like absinthe, you know, I'm not the biggest black licorice fan in the world, but I know, I know the taste between good and bad. And I know the difference between medicinal and non-medicinal -medic tasting. So... Let's see how it turns out. Wish me luck. <laughs> All right, I'm prepping my thumper. I got some star anise, Dittany Crete, some calamus root, 
and some and some angelica root so i just started getting <clears throat> heads and the smell is so crazy it smells better <laughs> now but it's still super medicinal smelling and it has that absence smell i mean I think it's gonna turn out. <clears throat> we'll see. I don't know how the tastes yet, but look at that. It's not coming out clear. Look at that. And it has a little color to it out of the worm. I've never distilled something like that. It came out with color. That's weird. That's the heads. It's 150 milliliters. <laughs> that smells like absinthe, dude. That's wild as shit. Uh, it's really strong, though. I still think I might have put too much wormwood, but, you know, it's made to be a medicinal drink or a digestive. So I'm going to dump this and uh, I'm going to taste it now. <laughs> dude. That's weird as hell. That's not bad, man. I've had a bunch of absence and any ones I bought in a store, that's that's pretty damn good, man. I think I uh, uh, chicken dinner this one. <laughs> we'll see. I'm going I'm gonna give it the good old the real deal uh, taste test, you know, the way they put a sugar cube and add water, catch it on fire. I'll see if that works. Uh, and then I'll taste it straight. But so far, you know, right out of the worm, dude. That's medicine, son. <clears throat> All right, so this is the color it's come out. Right? And I'm in the tails now. And that's what color the tails is. I, uh, I messaged Alan Bishop and I said, is this normal? And he said, definitely not. So I could rerun it, but man, I like the way it tastes and I'm going to end up coloring it anyway. So I don't know what to do at this point. I'm trying to make a decision. Do I keep it and color it the way it is right there or rerun it? This liquor, I know that the still's clean. I know the liquor's clean. That liquor's been ran four times. It was 190 proof. Proofed it down to 20 proof with spring water. And, and then I macerated all them, them botanicals in it, ran it, and it's coming out green. I think I used too much wormwood. I think that recipe is crazy, but it's coming out of the worm pretty good. I like the flavor. I'd hate to change it and lose some flavor. I think I'm going to just color it and bottle it. <laughs> it's a small batch. I'm probably the only one that's ever going to drink it anyway, so... I'm still deciding. I'll let you know here in just a second. All right, so I dumped what was in the pot, and I had about three quarters of a gallon left of the, of the original mash because it wouldn't fit in here. So I put that in there. I'm gonna dump all these jars back in here and I'm gonna rerun it all. Try and see if I can't get it clear. If it don't come out clear this time, then I'm keeping it however it is. I'm gonna add some water to it too. So I'm gonna add this liquor back to this pot with this little, there's about, I don't know that much of the original, I don't know what you call that, macerate. But, uh, and I'm gonna put some fresh herbs in here and I'm gonna start it all up, do it all over again. See if it don't come out clear. I honestly think if, you know, I hate to do that. But this jar tastes really good. I mean, those, yeah, those are kind of tailsy. But that, that that's a whole jar of hearts. I don't know, man. I, I might, even though that's not clear, I'm, that color has to come. That color has to come from that wormwood. Because this still is clean. I mean, clean as a whistle. I keep my still clean. And... That liquor's clean. That was 190 proof to start. Watered it down to 20. I'm thinking about keeping this jar. 
<laughs> Put it on some spinach leaves, get it some more green. I gotta stir this shit. I'll come back to you when we're up and running. Well, I'm rerunning it. <laughs> it's, it's still got a little bit of color, it looks like. We'll see. This is what it looks like coming out a second time. I watered it down. Now, I know it's not the still because it uh it was coming out clear one i keep my still clean as shit two that uh during the tails of that last run it started to clear up but when i restarted it it got darker i mean it's not as dark as it was the first time but it still has some color to it and that's 110 proof still not getting a high proof I should have went in with 40. I should have used 40 uh, proof instead of proofing it down to 20. I find myself here lately trying to get away from high proof liquor because it's devoid of flavor. So I'm trying to get less proof these days. Uh, and then have an overall proof that's anywhere above 100. I think that's a good run. That's just me. That's my opinion. If you like that super duper high proof liquor that's fine i can make that i mean i made this out of 190 watered it down to 20 but i want the flavor of the wormwood and i think i achieved that i'm going to use this i can't get rid of that that color and i'm going to color it anyways so i'm using it i ran it twice you know i got a little bit uh i got more than this but i'm still running it's not finished yet i have a little bit more to get you won't get much out of these little runs. This is just research and development. This is me learning something. And you're right along learning with me. I appreciate y'all. So I'll come back to you when I'm coloring this after I'm done running the rest of this liquor. Time to color this absinthe. This is hyssop, which smells like fresh cut grass. Smells amazing. This is, smells like freshly cut grass. And this is some organic spinach. I'm going to color this absinthe. I'm going to put just a little bit in a bucket. And then I'm going to pour the absinthe in there and let it turn green. Looks like it's starting to get a little green to it. So mix it around in a bucket. And that's the color I got. I ain't going to lie. I kind of squeezed some of them <laughs> spinach leaves. <laughs> kind of ran my hand up in there. But it is what it is. I ran it through a paint strainer bag to clean it up. Clean all the stuff out of it. Look at that color. That's some Mountain Dew right looking shit right there. Every drop, baby, every drop. Now, I know you're supposed to uh, water it down until it gets cloudy. I'll do that in a second. I just want to try it straight the way it is. That's wild. I don't think I like it. <laughs> I don't, I don't like regular absinthe, so. But as far, compared to what I thought it was going to turn out with that cow patty shit, this is a whole nother level. I think I like it better before I put color to it. You know what I mean? Um, that's some medicine-y tasting stuff. But uh, let's add water to it. Maybe it, you know, maybe it get a little better. Need to wash this cup. Old dirty cup sitting here. Got no way to wash it. It's got liquor in the bottom of it. Good as new. <laughs> so, a bit. Look at that color. It's a little bit cloudy. 
I think that's because I squeeze the spinach leaves. I'm impatient. So you're supposed to add water until it gets... You can see, you know, clear on top. I think that's good. Maybe it's better this way. That's a lot better. That's, that's pretty damn drinkable right there. Compared, like, it's my first try, uh, and that was an old recipe. It's not something that I would want in my personal recipe, which I'm going to do next. I'm going to do a run. I'm going to use a lot less wormwood. There's going to be wormwood involved, but not four pounds per four gallons. That was insane. But... I don't know. I think that's a win. Even though it came out still a little green. That shit's glowing. You know what? I had somebody give me a, a bottle of absinthe. Let's try it. See how it tastes. Because this is pretty good. Now that I add water to it. Straight out, I think that's a little much. I think I used too much hyssop. I think I used too much spinach. <laughs> I was watching Jesse from Stillet do it. He just used a few grams. And he used half his liquor. I used all my liquor and I was over squeezing that spinach and that hiss up. Uh, so it's kind of got that fresh cut grass thing about it. I think I use way too much, but that's, that's not bad. It's, it, I could see drinking this as an after dinner digestive. I don't, I don't think there's enough, and I'd be the last person to say this. I don't think there's enough black licorice in it. You know what I mean? I could see why they use so much anise. But that recipe called for a very small amount, and uh, I only put a little bit in the thumper, so only a tiny bit carried through. You're not really getting much uh, the anise flavor, however you want to say that shit. I, I don't fucking know, but it is real medicinal. But that was supposedly a recipe from a doctor, from from a cookbook. From the 1800s so the recipe is probably from the 1700s i have no idea what i just did i'm an idiot and i did it and this is what i got and i don't think it's too bad but i do think the next recipe that i make of my own recipe and i, I ain't gonna i ain't gonna kid you i'm gonna make a hibiscus because i fucking love hibiscus i've had this bag of hibiscus flowers over here ready for the last month i went and got it from the farmer's market hooked up with this you know these people was like, hey, man, you know, I need a, a hibiscus because I'm going to do all kinds of hibiscus shit because I love it. Love hibiscus beer, hibiscus anything. It's delicious. So I'm going to make a hibiscus absinthe next. Keep an eye out for that video. But let's try this other absinthe I got. I'm sure it's way better than mine. I, I forget who I got. Let me make a phone call and find out who made it. <laughs> it's, I'll be right back. This tastes traditionally what I'm used to absinthe tasting like. It's, um, I like it better than mine. <laughs> it's clear and it's still green. And it, I guess uh, my buddy Tyler made this, gave it to Big Easy, Big Easy gave it to me and I tried it and I was like, that's good. It tastes so much like an East or anise, however you say it. It's really good. It reminds me of something my dad used to make when I was a kid, because my dad's Italian. He used to make a drink using anise and, and rum. He'd mix them 50-50 around the holidays. Every Christmas he'd make that drink, but very strong anise flavor. Uh, find the water. And I talked to Tyler, and he said that he got this, it was a recipe from the 1700s that he got through Alan Bishop, I believe. 
Well, the color changes to almost blue when you add water. Really, really light green. Yeah. That's what tra traditional apples is supposed to taste like. Um, I like mine. I just, I'm new, you know. It's my first one. I, I kind of like half-assed a recipe off of a Wikipedia page. And it came out. It's not bad. This is what you want it to traditionally taste like. And I need to add more anise. <laughs> That's for sure. But I don't like the anise, so I try to add a small amount. I went, went by the recipe, and I was like, that's good that there's not much in it. But I think it, it would have been better had there been more, now that I, you know, looking back. Not bad. Uh, this, I think, is a lot more medicinal tasting. This is something that you would prefer, I think, as far as the flavor, even though a lot of people don't like anise. But that's definitely the way it's supposed to look. <laughs> and maybe that'll clear up. I don't know. I doubt it. That's pretty damn cloudy, ain't it? Whatever. I'm going to call it a, a... It's still a win in my mind. I learned how to make... Kind of. <laughs> learned how to make absinthe. So that's my first absinthe video. I'm going to make a lot more. If you guys ever need botanicals, I have them all. And if there isn't something you see on... The PhilBillyMoonshine.com website under the botanicals button at the top of the page. If there's not a botanical that you see, let me know and I'll find it and I'll get it and I will stock it. So there's not a lot of places that carry these botanicals. I had to go to a hundred different places to get them all. And now I have them all in one place right here. <laughs> I got everything. Um, so if you're a uh, I want to make absinthe, you want to make gin, you know, you want to be a witch doctor, philbillymoonshine.com. And I, I look forward to making some hibiscus uh, absinthe with a lot less wormwood in it <laughs> and a very mild amount of anise. And I'll probably put some citrus in it too because I'm all about the citrus. Uh, that's it. I'll see y'all later. Oh, yeah. Shout out to uh, Tyler Richardson, Alan Bishop, and Jesse from Still It, because I'd be even more lost without them uh, and their videos. So if you don't know who those guys are or you don't follow them, go follow them on YouTube and all the other social media sites. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. See y'all later.